Hey everybody, uh, doing another video. Uh, this one's a little bit different. I actually, uh, we went for a walk and I found some really cool stuff. Um, this is actually uh, wild quinoa. Now, it's not actually quinoa that you get at the grocery store. Um, it's from the same family. And as a matter of fact, um, Native Americans of uh, North America actually grew this as a grain crop. Um, I think they're sent around like 1500. Uh, to 2,000 years ago, uh, whereas quinoa in Central America and like the Aztecs were actually grown around 5,000 years ago. Now they don't necessarily know whether or not um, these were brought up from Central America, um, but but Native Americans used to farm this before they farmed maize. Now maize did make its way up from Central America, um, and once the uh, the corn came up here, actually more agriculture was based around maize and about around corn, uh, but they did still grow. Um, which is called goosefoot or also uh, lamb's quarters and I got a couple uh, a couple plants here I want to show you the main way to tell whether it's lamb's quarters or goosefoot and just look at the name the leaves actually look like a goosefoot and uh, that's one of the main ways to tell sometimes they have different lobes I mean and if you look like the younger leaves they look a little bit different they don't necessarily look like an actual goosefoot um, but you know just take a look at it, and if, you, if you've seen one of my other videos about the quinoa, how I was wondering about the little crystals that are growing, um, I've actually found out that's, a, that's actually calcium. Um, quinoa has actually, is one of the plants that has some of the most calcium in it. Um, it actually, um, compared to drinking milk, it's like five times as, 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 uh, as good as calcium as drinking milk. Now, um, if you look real close, you can see like the little tips, they're kind of whitish in color. These ones here, you can probably see a little bit better. Look at that. I mean, that's like looks like white fuzz almost growing on there. And you can see the goose feet. Now, here's all the little baby ones. Uh, not only am I going to dig up some of these little ones and transplant them, but I'm also going to harvest some of these seed heads as well, too. So, uh, that's what goose foot looks like. Uh, and I'll guarantee you, there's a good chance you've probably got the stuff growing right behind your house in the woods or like right here in the corner of a sidewalk in a road where a bunch of the people's dogs probably pee so thanks for watching and comment below seen white ducks <laughs> I 